Hey y'all, welcome to my next Let's Play. Um, this is Ricketeer and Item Shop Tale. Um, I've been pronouncing the game wrong this whole time because I don't read things. Apparently, well, I used to not anyway, and I used to just assume it was pronounced differently. It's called Ricketeer. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the game I'm in the options menu, but let's let's get past this because I don't think anyone wants to see a Let's Play that only involves option menus. Cool. Uh, this game usually has a Japanese voice track. I don't think it's going to help too much. And since I don't like reading because I'm awkward at it, I'm not going to do that. Um, yeah. So, very much more in story detail right now. This isn't going to be a 100% LP. I feel like that's going to take way too much time. Um, I got a new controller, by the way. It's wireless, which means I can sit much farther away from my computer and be much comfier. I mean, I'm trying to make this process of LPing so much easier. It seems like the new controller is a lot more quiet than my old one, which makes things a lot easier. Capitalism, huh? huh? Yeah, I mean... So your goal for this week, I think, is to get 10k gold, I don't know. So I know I said this was going to be a really short project, <laughs> I don't think that's true at all. Actually judging by recordings, this is going to be our longest project to date, though the structure of it is going to be a lot different, I mean I say that for every single game I play. So I mean I'm still experimenting, so what do you expect? Um, yeah, these let's, let's plays can be pretty experimental, which means it's going to involve me, you know. So you wanna buy, I'm gonna buy, uh, let's see, let's buy a, no, let's buy a worn sword, we'll buy two of those. Okay. Yeah, um, so as a worker of the retail, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to learn about all the worst kind of customers today. And I'm going to teach you if you're being a horrible human being or not. Since I've worked retail before, I think everyone needs to understand that working retail and you know... Is it an easy job, yeah? I'm gonna put a worn sword up, okay. So we're gonna go sit at the counter, yeah. Good idea. So... This is already gonna be start. So you wanna, so let's teach you some credits here. I'm gonna try to like skip over this because... Welcome, yeah, that's like the dumbest thing ever. Entering, or telling everyone to enter a store, you know, and say hi, welcome. Of course, you know, everyone's always gonna be like, um... You know, everyone's always gonna be like, Ugh. Then they always look at you like you're so dumb. It's like, hey, welcome to the store, and it's like... Did I just say custom.exe? You can go about 30% above, and then you can go about... Yeah, so be careful, because I cannot give you your glasses for pretty cheap, yo. Glasses are pretty expensive. 
Um, so yeah, like if you walk up to the glass, don't walk up to a counter or anything. Wonder why glasses are so cheap, expensive. Ah, welcome. And then my manager like makes fun of me for saying welcome. He's like. So yeah, I go about 30% above, that's all I can say. Um, wow, this is really great. Wanna go a little bit cheaper, huh? Yeah, I don't like how I have to like do the tutorial like five times. Anyway, with this one... 3,920. Okay. Why over long haggling? Okay, and yeah, of course I screw up the uh, thing. Let's try that. No, come on, I don't like how, like, you know, I wish I could, like, kind of skip all this. I might just cut this out because it's, you know, taking a while in general, but I doubt it. This game doesn't really require much cutting, but this tutorial beginning of the game is very tutorial heavy, and it's, you know, I'm the Let's Player, I want to explain this stuff myself, you know. Luckily, once it gets less tutorial heavy, that's why I'm just kind of skipping over all this, because, you know. She's looking for bread. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah. Congrats, we sold stuff. And then we have to watch, like, the intro cutscene, because they kind of, like, put this at the beginning of the game for some reason. Yeah, I'm not going to skip over this, but... Like, yeah, tutorial stuff, I'm not going to be really... going to kind of be running over all that stuff. Easy game station, these guys. Um, I don't know if they've done anything since then. I haven't really looked into that. Um. Yeah, I don't think they have. Maybe. Pulling up the Google. On my phone, I totally need to charge before I get to work today. Um, let's see, have they done anything else? That's actually a good question. Easy game station. I mean, maybe. Um, they've developed, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Um, they haven't really developed anything since 2013. Um. He's gonna be a hero, wow. Oh, well, I actually have Chantilly's. It's I think they might have been bankrupt. Or maybe they've discontinued. Um, looking into this, yeah. That's uh, quite nice. That's not good. Chantilly's actually. I've never actually played it though. I've maybe touched it for like five minutes, but I didn't really mess with it too much. Um, I should probably play that at some point. Um, but if that's true, then I should try that out. Maybe that'll be a let's play at some point. Yeah, that's actually funny. So in Chantilly's, there's actually this one thing where it's supposed to be a pirate of the game. You know, like, they'll punish you and stuff. 
But I own this on Steam, so it's all good. So I guess I haven't pirated anything. Yeah, it's Reketeer, Reketee. Finance company, yeah, you know, you haven't paid off loans before, so I probably, um, should not. There was something else, but I remember reading that the company behind it went on, went bankrupt or something, or closed down, or just canceled the game. Um, so, and it was like some sort of unreleased project that they actually had. Well, that's very mean, making a young child pay up back the debts of a human being. I couldn't ever imagine that. You're gonna make her go homeless? It's just another cause of the evils of capitalism. Yeah, okay, so... Adventuring, hope yeah. I want to have to go there today. Probably only do that twice a week. That's gonna be my aim. Get the adventure hub twice a week. Next, let's put on a filter for this microphone, which will again make this so much better sounding, hopefully. Yeah, her brother's probably dead. I wouldn't tell that to her. You know, I beat the game one time, but I don't remember exactly how, you know, it actually ends. It's been a while since I last played it, and... Since it is one of those laid-back games and stuff, and... Guys mowing the lawn outside again. Every single week. Since I like sit right next to a window. It's not about reorganizing the room, so like I can you know. It's hard to listen to that stuff, but and it would probably still get through. So, I'm hoping, like, you know, by moving my mic over here a little bit, you don't hear that. And of course, I'm at an angle, but I mean, it's not the worst angle ever, so I guess it's okay. And they always do, it's like fucking 2 in the morning, and he's like, 2 in the morning, it's like 5 at night, and then, like, you know, well, like, in the morning, you know, I'm saying. When it comes your day in the morning, you know, I'm pretty sure most people are sleeping right now, especially the college students, so... <laughs> up on a first floor apartment, that's always the funnest stuff. At least the electric bill's pretty cheap on the first floor, though. Talking about stuff that bothers me. I just wish he wasn't doing yard work at this time. It's just so ridiculous. Okay, day two. Oh, shoot. Hope that mouse hasn't been on the wall display the whole time. That would be really sucky. So I can actually skip the event by just doing that. Cool. I'm skipping that. 
Okay, here's some plot stuff. The Adventurer's Guild. This is where you go to, like, take on, like, some tasks and stuff like that. Naturally, I'd cut off some time on a Let's Play. So, this is where we're gonna, like, you know, go into the dungeon and stuff. You know, this first few parts are gonna be awkward. I'm hoping after this to kind of get some guest commentary in here, since I kind of know this is gonna be a very hard Let's Play or play to commentate. I think I'm gonna do that for uh, another Let's Play I had planned at one point, but I kind of scrapped for now. I'm gonna try that for that as well. But expect these first few parts to be a bit awkward while I'm explaining stuff before I get some guest commentary in here. Um, that's what I think I'm gonna do. It should make the Let's Play a lot less awkward. I'm gonna contact someone so when I get to the next recording section, you know, it's not like, you know, all this- I have someone to like kind of back me up on here. I mentioned my Phantom Brave LP at one point that I was planning on doing. And the reason I actually cancelled that one was because... Well, not cancelled it, but didn't go through with it right away. Was because I couldn't get commentary running. You know, games like this can be a bit awkward to commentate for. Okay. I'm gonna cancel this. Skip this. Again. Because this is... This is my job to explain it. So, this is a dungeon. If you lose, you can only take three items with you, I believe. Or is it one? It's one or three. I don't remember exactly. Um, and, um... Basically, you can only hold, like, 15 items, I believe. Ingredients. Gotta go. Uh, rocks will randomly fall. That's the thing. That's dumb. And, um... Oh, shoot. Come on, kill the frickin'. Radical. Yeah, don't do that. So, yeah, don't... You can, like, you know... And so, like, yeah, you only gain, like, certain items. And there should be about two to three items per floor. Um... And I don't remember. I think these dungeons are randomly generated. I've never actually done enough tests to test that theory. Um, I think they're randomly generated. So, we'll see. But yeah, I think I'm gonna see if I can get some guest commentators for the last for like the next, there's gonna be four or five recording sessions, this is session one, section one, which I'll probably split this into like three or four parts, depending on how long it lasts. It's probably gonna be like three though, to tell you the truth. What's that? Nice. One sword plus two. And I got a cloak of some sort. Raincoat. Nice. Someone's gonna need a raincoat. Not me. I've never worn a raincoat since I was like... I was like six. I'm like four times that age now. Whoa. That's really cool. Um, I wonder if I could like, you know, cut a lot of this out. I'll probably do that for like future dungeons, but this time I'm just gonna like, you know, keep a lot of it in. I don't really like the idea of, you know, oh shoot, that's dumb. So yeah, you'll gain like a level every few times. We got some ingredients there. I don't recommend grabbing like stupid stuff though, because 
I uh, open my inventory? Oh. Okay, down. Equip. Nice. Oh, okay. That's what I did. Okay, cool. What's the reward? No. I'm going to keep that and sell that in the shop for sure. I need to make 10000 this week. Whoa. Okay. Nope. That's not good at all. I have someone who wants to guest commentate with me, so I'm hoping I can get him in whenever I record next. I mean, I don't want to keep the guest commentators the same, though. I have two or three, maybe three people I could get in. Um, the problem is... I could probably get two of them in one recession if I wanted to. Though, I don't know if I could get, you know... All three of them, though I think the first guest will be... I'm going to see if he wants to do that next video. I'm rambling. I am rambling about this. Um, but I'm going to see what he wants. I'm going to see if he's cool with it. I'm going to message him after this video, actually. See if he can stand for doing something tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, I hope so. Perhaps he is. Uh, ingredients. I wonder what that is, anyway. Like... I don't remember if that, like, just ends up being something really cool after I leave the dungeon. I don't know, the Hall of Trials is only, like, five floors long, I believe. Yeah, the combat in this game is really, you know... Isn't it, like, you know, it's, like, really... Really complex and stuff, obviously. Okay, sarcasm, obviously. I know a lot of people don't like my sarcasm. I'm sorry. I'll stop being sarcastic now. This game's pretty good, though. I mean, I don't... I mean, yeah, for a shop-selling game, I don't really expect the uh, combat to be great. Or the best thing. It's not, like, you know, the worst thing ever, but I wouldn't, like, you know, center a game around it. Maybe it's somewhat like East, like, especially, like, you know, um... Games in the style of 6-3 and Origin. I mean, Felgahana and Origin. Um, that'll come at some point, I promise. Maybe sooner than you think. Oh, one of them's coming sooner than you think, anyway. I got an apple plus one. Can I tell you right now, you are not going to need. So yeah, there should be about two chests for poor, so it looks like my theory is correct on that. At least in this dungeon, it's like that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, okay, cool. I level up. <laughs> okay, no. What the hell? That's, I mean, that right there is just kind of a lot of bullshit, to tell you the truth. Get out of the way! Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Um. Radical. I wonder how much left I got. I'm gonna just check and see if I can find. Oh, come on! On. I'm like really great at combat, yeah. Such deep combat experience. I've never felt so much more alive in my life when doing this combat. I'm complaining, aren't I? This is like the deep. <laughs> Definitely just E slight. 100%. You know, at least it's not the worst thing ever. I've known games. That reminds me, I can't remember what the game's name was. There was this one game on the 3DS that was I was really looking forward to. It was kind of like a weird dungeon crawler game. But it god damn it. But it like ended up being like really boring, but I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. 
I remember it's like you used like these weird weapons to attack and it was like a randomly proceeded gen gen generator. At least it's not that. I mean, I remember that just being like really boring. I don't remember what the name of the game was off the top of my head. I think it was like, um, I can't remember it. I'm going to have to remember. Maybe someone knows what I'm talking about. But like you use pencils and carrots to attack. And, um, I, I mean, I have it on my 3DS, so I could probably pull up. My 3DS is pretty much right next to me. But I just remember it being really boring and, like, really bad. I don't recall what the name of the game was, though. And that's kind of... <laughs> I'm repeating myself here, aren't I? Oh, well. You know, hopefully once I get the pop filter to, like, prevent sound that's not in front of me from getting into my microphone. And I should probably do that at some point. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear that, like, noise in the background. <sighs> I wish it was just, like, easier than you know what it is. We're going back home. Door of Return. You know, maybe what I could do for the next recording session and it now. So yeah, whenever I inevitably get around to Phantom Brave. I mean, I don't want to do Phantom Brave right now anyway, because I feel it's 